Shut up and sit down. Hi guys, welcome to another Fuel Friday. Haven't done one of these for a while, so I just thought I'd put together a little video for you. Now, this particular link pipe is one off the new CRF 1100L, the Africa Twin, one of the very popular bikes that we supply for. Now, what's different about this link pipe is that we don't use any bends on it. We can't use bends because we've got to change direction one way, change direction the other, to give us enough spacing for the silencer so that it doesn't obstruct the wheel or any of those components. We have a heat shield mount on the link pipe and we also have a centre stand stop where the centre stand comes to return to. All this has to be done in about the space of 125 millimetres. The only other way you could do it is by putting a long pipe out but then that would look ridiculous because we have a, a guard here and then you'd have a pipe stuck out with the end can on it and just doesn't look suitable. This is showing you how the two bends connect together. Now on the Africa Twin, obviously we've got to give it an offset of about 20 to 25 mil. So you can see here when we join two bends together, it's not quite a 20 mil, it's roughly about 15 to 20 mil this. Now you can see from where the bend starts, which is what we call a tangent, so the bend starts around here. Now it ends around here. So looking at that you think, oh yeah, I, I can easily get that. We've instantly got 95mm there. Now the problem is with the Africa Twin, it has approximately a 30mm on the inlet where we have to end form it where it slides onto the bike but then we also have to have about 40 mil approximately from where the pipe will end so this will be cut off and this will be cut off now when we look at what measurement we have here it's about around about 160 mil and that would actually make the link pipe stick out past the end of the heat shield which then makes it just look odd that's why we went for this option where I get the offset so the offset here goes back forwards plus we've got our heat shield guard and we've got our center stand stop to get on there so these are one, two, three, four pieces of tube, all cut at different angles. I'm not gonna cut them and be really, really boring and show you the cutting side of that and show you the way that I fabricate these both together. So these are our cut parts. These are our one, two, three, four different parts for the, for the exhaust link pipe. Now, obviously all these parts are cut at an angle. Now obviously we don't know in relation to the top and the bottom of the cut, how do we know where the top of the tube is or where those cuts are made so that we know where the top so that we can easily put it together. I find a little easier way of doing this is we put this in here so when this lines up there there's no gap underneath, there's no gap here and there's no gap there. So what I can do is mark the top of the tube with these marks here because they're 27 mil this tube is 54 mil so that's halfway up so I put my little mark there and I do that for all of the parts so you can see here so we, we know that our parallel sides are close. Now when we close that down, we know that these, that area there is the top and pop, bottom part of the tube. So you can see there, clearly it's off to the left. And then if you roll it this way, it'll be off to the right. So that we know where the, we can find the top and the bottom of the tube. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we're ready to start tacking them together or putting them in position, which I'll show you next. So we use our top point here and our top point here together. We line our tubes up and make sure that they're parallel on there. We've got our points, both, both levels are flat and we go for that. Tack them together and also so we put normally put three tacks so that's the first stage of our pipe The other thing that's crucial when you're putting together parts like this is that we don't want any steps. So we want a nice uniform finish, there's no ugly steps there. So that it makes it easier to weld because this is fairly thin tubing. Okay, so that's the last one. So, on the next one, we need both parts together. And again, we need them to be along the centre line, be parallel. So looking down at these two, we've got two flat ends and there's no gaps underneath. There's no gaps underneath here. These lines are parallel so we know that all our cut sections are in line with each other. And we just go and tack these sections together now. one The next stage of this now is obviously we've tacked it all together so we're going to run a weld around these three points. We're going to fill it with gas, purge it, uh, put it on the welding rotator and we'll get a complete run all the way around in the three times. Then we end form one of the ends, put it in the jig and fingers crossed everything should fit together, go in the jig and then we'll fit our centre stand stop and we'll also fit our heat shield guard onto that as well. So I've got this set up in here, so just looking at the welding rotator. That's just so that I can put my tube on so that it holds it and gives me an earth. Obviously we've got the gas coming through here, which I'll switch on. And then we just need to stop a tube in there, just so it allows the extra oxygen to come out. And then we're just gonna rotate it and weld it.
so there we have it all the way welded and if you look on the inside you can probably see just about where the welds are just welded inside as well so we'll go for the next one Okay, so now we've done the welding, we're on the next day, hence why I've changed my clothes. This is now, we've welded all these, the next stage is to end form one of these and then we, on one of the ends, because this is the end that fits onto the inlet of the pipe. So, we're going to mark this, end form them all now and then the proof is in the pudding, check if they fit on the jig. So, we'll put all these on the trolley. So the first thing we want to make sure is that we get the right end because obviously they look very similar. On the bench. So what we need is a 35mm end form. So I'll just set my little jig on the rule there. We'll just double check all these are the right way around. Make sure we get the right end of the end form. And then each one of these we'll mark at 35 millimetres. Okay, so now we take this over to the end former. Put this into the end format. And we just take it down slightly to the correct size and hopefully it fits onto there. And if we've done our job right, when we put this onto here, everything lines up with the holes here. So you can see there that we, we know that everything's right. So so now we're just gonna go and end form all of these. Zoom in closely on here, you can see the the way that this tool works, as it comes in, it crushes the pipe going to size. So we put that up to the line. You can see our line here. Give it a slight rotation, and you can see there that's the difference between an end form and non end form. So we put that in there, up to the line, end form, turn, end form. couple here so the next part of the job is we have our heat shield guard but our heat shield guard comes we have this laser cut and then and then bent on a CNC folder but obviously here as you can see we need to tack weld the, the nuts in the back of there. I use some something called a weld nut. Now on the back of the weld nut, it has a recess on there. So you can just see the recess in there so that it fits into a hole. 
and locates there. So Okay, so what we've done there is our three tacks on our nut. We've also put a couple of little runs on there as well just to help secure it. So now all we need is our jig, our link pipe, everything's lined up here in the jig. fastener in there just to secure it make sure it's in line get one of our heat shield guards line up the pod here okay so that's our heat shield guard so what we just need to do is put a tack on there So we're just going to put a tacker in the centre of each of these little legs that are on there. And then we'll just get ready with a bit of the filler rod if we need it. two tacks there. We're just going to tap these edges down now. So now they follow the radius of the pipe. What we'll do now is also grab our purging pipe, pop that in there. And we're just going to fill the pipe with argon. We'll turn it up the other way just to make it easier. And we'll run a weld around here. Then we just need to get our centre stand. Pop that in there. Just make sure it's in the right position. There. We just tighten it up. Make sure it doesn't move. So now we just leave that into the position some tacks on that. And we'll just get a tack on the inside as well. And we'll tack on that side, tack on that side, and we just need one just in there, 
Just put the heat. If you won't move, put it a little bit. Okay. Pop that out, and then we put our purging size thing on there, so that we can get this bit, this last bit welded. now so we can get to the other one it's quite difficult to get into this bit of a weld there So we've fabricated, welded the pipe now. All we need is three slots in this end to accept the clamp so they can clamp onto the original system. So there we have our three slots in the end of the tube. From the slotting process it just leaves a little bit of a burr on the back of there. Now we don't want a back burr on the back because obviously when we slot it onto our pipe it's not going to be the right size. So we're going to grind that out. Okay, next part of the job is we now need to bead blast these with our, bead, with our media blaster and then they'll be ready to go with a clamp into a bag and ready to be delivered to the next customer. So, open up, just put a couple in just to show you. So we just rotate the pipe, getting rid of all the weld marks off it. Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you want to hear an Africa twin with one of our exhausts on, head on over to Richie Vida's site or Mr. Fish. They're both on YouTube. They've both got a load of videos. Go and check them out. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Come back next time. Give us a like, subscribe. See you again.